There are two ways to bypass the VAT system. One is to fool the VAT's computer that there is a key in the ignition. The other is to rewire the starter relay. To bypass the system you'll need a resistor with a value matched to that of your key chip from any electronic store. You will most likely need to combine a series of resistors to arrive at the right value. There are 15 value combinations, and they're not standard values. The 15 VATS resistor values are as follows. The easiest way to install the bypass resistor is to cut the wires leading into the steering column about 16 inches from the connector end. Take this section of wire, strip the ends, and solder the resistor to it. Take the wire and resistor, and simply plug it back into the connector, under the dash. The VATS module is now fooled into thinking that there is always the correct key in the ignition. This does render the security benefits of the VAT system useless. If increased security is desired, the resistor can simply be connected to a switch to act as a kill switch. To rewire the starter relay, you'll have to remove the upper dash to get access to the starter relay. This is where GM mostly placed the VATS relay. Consult a service manual to be sure. The VATS relay wiring sometimes has a yellow cover. Once the relay has been accessed, cut the two starter wires. These are normally yellow and of a thicker gauge. Then, join and crimp or solder the two starter wires. This is a permanent connection and the VAT system would be completely eliminated. The GM VAT system is fairly older and it may be hard or too expensive for consumers to purchase these components if damaged. This video is intended to help those vehicle owners that need this service done.